What's going on guys, Vlad here and as you can see I'm finally starting a uh, Raspberry Pi tutorial series which I've been promising uh, quite, a, uh, quite a while ago. I've bought the board, um, I want to say six months to almost a year ago and I've never actually touched it uh, very actively. What I'm planning to do is uh, get started with some of the projects that, and share them along with you guys so you can follow along, you can learn some Python. Uh, you can maybe implement something else. So the first tutorial is going to be a very basic um, getting started guide. So as you as you probably know, you just get the board out of the box with uh, nothing else, and you need uh, a couple of components to get it to run. So most important one is going to be the uh, SD card, which will be uh, holding your OS. So I'm going to show you how to install the OS onto the SD card. You're also going to need a power cable for your Pi. This can be a USB cable or an AC adapter. You're also going to need an HDMI cable which will, will allow you to hook up to your monitor. And uh, last but not least, you will need a keyboard and a mouse to actually navigate the OS once it's booted up. So without any further delay, let's get started, get the OS loaded, um, take a look at how the Raspberry Pi actually boots up, uh, take a look at the I.O. and uh, yeah, we'll start from there. So there's a few things you want to download for your uh, SD card, the first being the OS for the Raspberry Pi. So you can go to raspberrypi.org slash downloads or just click on the downloads tab in the, uh, from their homepage. You want to scroll down until you see the Raspbian OS and select the download the zip file save it onto your uh, desktop. Uh, the second thing is the Win32 Disk Imager which is the program which allows you to image the actual SD card uh, with your OS for the Raspberry Pi so we want to download that as well and uh, you should be ready to uh, set up your SD card so let's take a look at that. So what you want to do after you've got the, both of those files on your computer is extract the file in your directory so as you can see it created an image file which will be loaded onto SD card and I've also installed the disk imager onto my computer in the program files directory so now what you need to do is actually format your SD card so let's take a look at that so once you have the disk imager installed in your machine you can go um, into your uh, program run as administrator this is important because uh, your image will need to essentially burn onto the um, this D card, so you want to make sure that it's correctly, uh, it has the correct rights. So I'm going to quickly navigate to the um, to the folder where I've extracted the image. Give me just one second. This D card, so you should see the Raspbian image that's in your folder. You're going to click on that. Make sure the correct device is selected. In my case, it's the F drive, which is the SD card. And you're going to uh, click yes when it uh, warns you about corrupting the device. It's essentially because you're writing a an OS, which is not something that you would normally dump on the SD card. So I'll spare you the progress. But uh, after this, uh, this is done, you, you should be ready to launch your Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to show you the connections in just a moment. So once you uh, plug in all the peripherals, keyboard, mouse, uh, your HDMI cable, your boot up screen should look like something like this. Um, I apologize for the angle, I couldn't get my other monitor to work for some reason um, due to cable issues from what it told me, but um, you should be able to follow anyways. In this episode I'm not going to go into um, the actual screen, so I'll figure out a better way to record this. Um, but anyways, the options that you get on the first menu, the first time you actually launch. So you can expand your file system and you want to do that. So click yes. Uh, this is going to resize your OS on the SD card. So essentially expand it to the actual size. So that's good. Change the password. The normal username is pi. The password is raspberry, all uh, small lowercase letters. So um, I just leave it like that because... I mean, I'm going to be the only one accessing the Pi. Enable boot to desktop. I prefer to leave it as is. Uh, internalization options. So language by default is English. That's fine. Enable camera. I leave that as it is. I don't have a Raspberry Pi camera. Um, 
add to uh, Rast track. Uh, I guess not for now. Overclock, nope. Advanced options, nothing that I change in there. And finally, I just click on finish. Would you like to reboot now? Yes. So that should save your options for the Raspberry Pi. And um, that would be all for this tutorial. And the next one, we're going to actually look at the desktop and start uh, programming the hello world of the Raspberry Pi, which is going to be just blinking a small LED on a uh, breadboard. So hopefully you got this going for you. Let me know if you have any issues or... Um, comments, suggestions as always. Um, so thank you guys for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.